Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about being sick. This is probably, well this is my second video about being sick. Just because I'm basically sick all the time. I've got a really bad throat right now so if my voice sounds all squeaky and croaky, I'm sorry but you're going to have to get used to it. Yeah. Okay, so the reason I want to do a video about being ill today is because, it's, it's basically because when I was in high school, I was really, really ill for, I don't know, about two and a half years, and it meant that I couldn't go into school, and I didn't go into school for so long that it got to the point that when I finally went back in, my name wasn't even on the register, and, and like, everyone was like, wait, you still go here? Why are you turning up at school? And, yeah, the teachers didn't even know what was going on because my name wasn't on the register, I didn't know what was going on, I was like... Am I still allowed to come here? But, um, yeah, anyway. The video is going to be talking about that and just doctors. Just, oh my god, doctors. Basically, I'm not, I don't, uh, I don't really like doctors after everything that happened to me. Like, yeah, I'm sure some doctors are great, they cure things, but what, in my experience, it was just awful. Okay, so when I was ill for two to three years, what happened was. I had so many blood tests, because it wasn't like, oh, you're ill, oh, it's really obvious, you know, you got this, take some tablets, it's all fine, go to school. I was ill, and no one had any idea what was going on. I basically had a really bad uh, stomach problems. I had terrible stomach problems, and I couldn't breathe a lot of the time, so it just meant I was confined to basically my house. And you may go, oh, that's pretty fun, you know, going out and not hanging out with your friends and just doing nothing and basically having no friends, that's not fun. A lot of people don't actually know about uh, those like couple years just because I didn't really talk about it to anyone. Even people I'm closest with now, I just don't talk about it with anyone. They didn't know then and they still don't know now, so I just thought, you know, it's probably a good time now to discuss, I don't know. It's probably a good time now just to tell people who are interested and that who were wondering where I was. Just, you know, let them know like what was going on with me at that time. Instead of waiting till the end of the video to, you know, tell you, okay, this is what was actually wrong with me. I just want to say now, they never found out. I was going to doctors for years and years. I went to so many doctors, had so many blood tests, so many diagnoses just tried everything and it didn't work and then it slowly just went like I, I, I really don't know what to say, I don't know what it was but okay so the first thing I want to talk about with doctors is the blood test like oh my god I had so many blood tests a ridiculous amount you know like way too many and some of them were okay some of them it was like in and out you couldn't feel it but some of them were just like, the people doing it were the clumsiest, uncoordinated, like, oh, oh my god. Yeah, blood tests. Hey, love. Now, I'm not going to be a doctor for today. He should be in any second now. But I'm just going to need you to stay here so we can take a nice little blood test of you and then we can find out what's wrong with you. Okay? Okay, lovely. Well... I should see you in a bit. Toodaloo. <laughs> alright son, alright, how you doing? Alright. <laughs> pot down, pot down. Right, this won't take a second. <laughs> oh, hi, the, the nurse told me to just sit here. Oh, okay. Um, hello. <laughs> alright then Sam, what seems to be the problem? Um, well, I've been told that I need to take a blood test. Yeah, um... Ah, blood test! Blood, you're the blood, little blood test boy, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no problem, just stay here, I'll get my kit. One sec. Yeah, here we go. No problem, no problem. Right. Now you don't have to worry about a thing, alright? I've got this all under control. It won't hurt a bit. Don't you worry. I've done this a thousand times. Oh! 
Oh my god, what are you doing to me? That's not where you put it in, you idiot. Are you stupid? Ah, sorry mate, that looks like that's the wrong vein. It happens every now and again. You just gotta polish off the syringe and go for round two. Right, I'm gonna go for a more direct approach this time, here we go. Right, right, okay. That's fine, that's fine. We'll put it behind us. We'll put it behind us, that's in the past. Um, okay, so what do you want me to do? Okay. Right, so I'll just roll up my sleeve, yeah? There you go. Just roll up my sleeve like that and you can, uh... Right, okay, yeah. There you go. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not going to work one bit. Right. Show me forearm then. Right, here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm in so much pain, get it out! Oh my god, oh my god, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Get out my surgery, you're getting blood everywhere! God sa- I've been doing this for two weeks! I know exactly what I'm doing now, get out! I don't care if you're bleeding all over the place. You think I care? Get out. Right, the second point is something that affected me a lot and that was so many doctors giving me so many different diagnoses or however you say it, I've got no idea um, yeah, it just wasted my time, it was like oh my god, I don't know, it was just such a waste of time Hi, is your name Jude Summers? <laughs> yeah, that's me <laughs> been to loads of different doctors, it's been it's been really hard, yeah Anyway, what were you going to tell me? Your mother tells me you've been a really brave boy. I'm really sorry though, Jude. You've got foot aids. Oh, right, okay. Acne balls. Uh, right. Forehead dilation. Um. Okay. <laughs> Green hair coming out of your ears disease. Okay, and that brings me on to my next point, which is I went to so many different doctors over the year, years basically. I went from private to public and just, just, I went everywhere, like NHS, and then I went to this one in Brighton, this one next to, this private one near me, uh, locally. I just went to so many, and everyone was like, Right, so I think I'm just gonna pass you on to my colleague here, and it's all gonna be fine. But it was just such a waste of time. Okay, and the fourth, I think it's fourth, the fourth and final thing is they didn't listen to me. Like, like they, they just didn't listen. It was crazy. And that is why, you know, not all doctors, but that's why some doctors are just, like, they should have been something else. They shouldn't have been a doctor. They should have been like a, a, a light bulb maker or a carrot picker, you know. They, d I don't even know. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> hello? <laughs> oh, hi, you right, mate? Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a fun doctor, yes. <laughs> I'm a fun doctor. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay now, Jude, okay. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Okay, so uh, what the problem is, um, is I just basically haven't been feeling very well. Um. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. That's a funny story. My mother took me to her. <laughs> oh. Sorry, mate. Do you mind not coughing on me? <coughs> sorry, sorry. My mother took me to a bug and, um, and she lost me. She lost me. Uh, she couldn't find me. I was gone for, for uh, a day or two. A couple of days or two. And, uh, 
And she found me in the end. <laughs> anyway, that's enough about me. Continue. No, 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 yeah, man, no, sorry. What I was going to say was, I just, I've been getting these stomach pains, and I haven't been able to breathe very properly, and it's... You know, when I was your age, I was uh, uh, going <laughs> around picking up all the ladies. <laughs> Uh, sometimes they didn't, they didn't like it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, continue. Are you even listening to me? Like, I'm, I'm being serious. Sometimes I just, I'm coughing up blood and, and, and I just, it really, it's, I'm in agony sometimes, you know? Like, what can you do for me? Okay. <laughs> so, I think we're all done here. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Okay. Off we go. Okay! <laughs> Very nice. Before I end this little segment, I just want to say, like, I wasn't in for so many of my lessons, and it just wasn't fun. Like, I was at home, you know, some days, I think some days I was just like, might have just played like Xbox or something, and I, I just want to say, it wasn't as fun as you think it was. Like, like, I was sleeping most days just because I had nothing to do and I was just trying to get better. And basically what I'm trying to say is don't take school and college for granted. You know, this is why I took months to drop out of college. Just because it's really important, I think, like, socially to go to school and college. Because I didn't go for so many years to school. And when I did go back, everyone had... I, I felt... Like, everyone had developed before me, and everyone was uh, in their friend groups, and I felt like I had to restart when I came back to school. So, yeah, don't take school or college for granted. Or no, although it can be a pain sometimes, I really think that it is good. Although, saying that, if you do have another dream, and you have a plan, and you think you can do it, then I would say pursue that instead. But just make sure what you're doing is... Make sure you've thought it through the whole way. Okay, guys, I'm basically rambling now. So I'm going to have to finish the video up now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I should be doing a video tomorrow. Right, let's do a proper intro, guy. Right, let's do a proper outro, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I like doing these skits, but they just take so long to do, you know, especially with the clothing changes and just different personality switches. It's just like so confusing. But yeah, anyway guys, it was really fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like and a comment and subscribe, but you know, you should have done that months ago. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.